Let's perform the indicated operation, and here it's division. Don't forget four decimal numbers. You look at the divisor and do what you have to to make this a whole number, but it already is a whole number, so I know the decimal point in my quotient lies right above where it does in the dividend. And we simply start dividing. I can't divide 7 into 4. What about 7 into 46? Well, yes, we can do that. 6 times 7 is 42, and 7 times 7 is 49, so let's go with 6. 6 times 7 is 42, and then my remainder or my difference is 4. It's less than 7, so I'm okay, and I'll bring down the next digit, which is a 7. How many times does 7 divide into 47? Well, again, 6 times. 6 times 7 is 42, remainder of 5, which is less than 7, so I'm okay. Bring down the next digit, which is a 1. Now, how many times does 7 divide into 51? That will be 7 times, because 7 times 7 is 49. And then, let's see, our difference is 2, which is less than 7, so we're still okay. Now, we're supposed to go to the nearest thousands if this thing continues, so I'll place a couple of zeros here, and we'll keep going. Now, how many times does 7 divide into 20? Well, 3 times 7 is 21, so I'll have to go with 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. And if I subtract, I have a difference of 6, which is less than 7, so I'm okay. Put down another 0. How many times does 7 divide into 60? Let's see, 8 times 7 is 56, and 9 times 7 is 63. So it will be 8 times 7, which is 56. But I don't actually need to do this because now... I'm ready to round to the nearest thousands. I look at this digit. It's 5 or greater, which means I add 1 to that digit. So it's 6 decimal point, 6, 7, 3. That is my quotient rounded to the nearest thousands.